Hello and welcome to the Sysadmin Tutorials YouTube channel. Today we're going to be walking through an installation of VMware vRealize Login Site 4, which will complement our vSphere 6.5 environment. If you haven't already watched my two other videos on installing VMware ESXi 6.5 and vCenter 6.5, you can click on either link displayed on screen right now. VMware vRealize Log Insight is an easy to use virtual appliance that collaborates and manages real-time logs for you. Besides collecting logs from VMware products, it is also able to collect logs from various other products such as Cisco, NetApp, etc. I'll talk a little bit more about this later on in the video, but for now, let's get started. I'm going to log into my vSphere web client. Within the web client, I'm going to click on host and clusters. I'm going to expand my VMware 6.5 lab resource pool. And then I'm going to simply right click on it and select deploy OVF template. Within the deploy OVF template wizard, I'm going to select the local file and click on browse and point to the vRealize login site for OVA file. I'll go ahead and click next. It gives me a little bit of information here about the OVA appliance, such as the version number and size on disk. We'll click next. And in this window, we'll accept the end user license agreement. Click next again. I'm going to be naming my virtual appliance as login site 65, just because it's going to be gathering all the logs from my vSphere 6.5 environment. And I'm going to be placing it in my VMware 65 lab folder. We'll move on to step 2B. The default configuration size is small, which supports 200 ESXi hosts and requires 4 CPUs, 8 gig of RAM and quite a large amount of storage. For my lab environment, I'm going to select the extra small configuration, which only supports up to 20 ESXi hosts and has a small resource requirement. I'll click next. For the disk format, thick provision EGA zeroed is recommended. However, in my lab environment, I'm just going to select thin provision and I'll select my NFS data store. We'll click next. I'm going to place the network card into the network called home lab internal. And I'll make sure that the IP protocol IPv4 is selected. And we'll click next. I'll enter in the host name that I'm going to be using for the virtual appliance, which is loginsight65.vmlab.local. The IP address that I'm going to be using is 192.168.1.200. Network mask is slash 24 or 255.255.255.0. .255 .255 and my default gateway is 192.168.1.1. My DNS server is 192.168.1.101. And the DNS search path will be vmlab.local. The DNS domain will also be vmlab.local. And we'll just expand other properties here and scroll down. I'm going to enter in a new root password and we won't be using any SSH public key in this setup. So I'll click next. In this window, it will display a summary of all the settings that we've entered in so far. Just double check to make sure these are the settings that you wish to use. And once that is confirmed, we can then go ahead and click finish. Once we click finish, we can see that the deploy OVF template task is running here up in the top right hand corner. The deployment of the virtual appliance has now completed successfully. And on the left hand side here, we can see the name of our virtual machine, Log Insight 6.5. I'm going to select Open with VMRC. And once the VMware Remote Console is open, I'm simply going to click on the play button, which is going to power on my virtual machine. Now the virtual machine is going to power up for the first time. It's then going to ask you for your username and password. Uh, please don't enter anything at this stage because the virtual appliance will reboot a second time. The virtual appliance has now rebooted the second time. And as we can see on the screen, it is asking us to log into the Log Insight web interface. To do that, we're going to open up a new tab and simply browse to that HTTP address on screen right now. We will accept the certificate warnings and we have arrived at the setup wizard for vRealize Log Insight. First up, we'll click on next. We'll click on start a new deployment. 
the first screen is going to ask for our admin credentials. We can enter in an email address, new password, and then reconfirm our password. Once you've entered in all the information, we can click on save and continue. In regards to login site licensing, if you are a vCenter server customer and hold a valid li In regards to log insight licensing, if you are a vCenter server customer and hold a valid license key, you are entitled to 25 monitored instances. If we click skip on this screen, the setup will continue. However, we will be warned that there is no valid license. If you have a valid vCenter 6.0 and above license key, this will be accepted as a log insight license key on this screen. If you have a valid vCenter 5.x license key, you'll need to download an additional license from VMware. I'm going to bring up a knowledge base article that should help answer all your licensing questions. Pause the video and take note of the URL. These highlighted sections in this document should help answer your licensing questions. In this next screen, we can enter in the email addresses that we wish to receive the email system notifications to. The send HTTP post system notification to allows you to specify third party notification systems that are able to receive HTTP post notifications. You also have the option to join the VMware customer experience improvement program. I'll untick this for the lab and we'll click on save and continue. I'm going to leave the default NTP servers listed here. We'll click on test. The test is successful, so we'll click on save and continue. In this screen, we can enter in our SMTP configuration. I'm going to be changing the sender address to loginsight65 at vmlab.local. And you also have the option to send a test email to make sure that your SMTP configuration is working correctly. I'm going to click on save and continue. And our setup is all done. So we'll click on finish. And on our next screen, we have three methods that we can ingest data into Log Insight. One is via vSphere integration, which is what this tutorial is going to concentrate on. The second is by installing agents onto the servers. And the third is by setting the Log Insight server as a destination syslog server from your device. I'm going to go ahead and click on configure vSphere integration. Within the vSphere integration page, I'm going to enter in my vCenter server hostname. And just for the lab environment, I'm going to be using my administrator username and password. However, in a production environment, it's highly recommended to use a service account to connect to vCenter server. The service account should have a custom role created. And the information that you need to create the custom role can be found within the vRealize Log Insight documentation. And I'm just going to bring up the screen here now. In the center of the page here, you can see the required privileges that are required to collect event tasks and alarms and also to configure ESXi hosts to point the syslog server settings across to Log Insight. But I'm going to go back to our vSphere integration. I'll enter in my username and password. I'll make sure I've got collect vCenter server events, tasks and alarms selected and also configure ESXi host to send logs to Log Insight. If you click on advanced options here, we have the option to configure all ESXi hosts or configure specific ESXi hosts to send their logs to Log Insight. We'll leave ours on configure all ESXi hosts and we'll click on test connection. The test is successful, so we'll go ahead and click on save. And you can see here that we are configuring our ESXi host to send their syslogs across to Log Insight. And the configuration's completed successfully, so we'll click OK. Now I'm going to click on dashboards. And by default, we end up in the general dashboard which is going to display absolutely every single event that is coming through to Log Insight. If we want to have a look just at the vSphere environment, we can drop that down and select VMware vSphere. And on the left hand side here, we have some custom dashboards that have been already created. Now let's dive a little deeper into Log Insight. Click on the general problems dashboard of VMware vSphere. Under ESXi events by hostname, we can either click on one of the ESXi hosts or our vCenter server. I'm going to click on ESXi 65-2 and select Interactive Analytics. The bottom part displays all the events from the following app name and host name criteria. Click on the field table. The filters that we've selected on these two rows is based off the criteria in the column headers down here. 
If I wanted to filter this table down further, I can click on add filter, select VMW underscore ESXi underscore severity. We'll select contains and in the search terms, we'll just enter in info. I'll then click on search. And as we can see down the bottom, only events containing the info severity are displayed. If I want to be alerted on this particular query, I can click the little red bell at the top right and select create alert from query. I'll give the alert a name. I'll enter in some optional notes. I'll type in the email address that I wish this alert to go to. And lastly, we'll configure when and how often to raise an alert. I'll be selecting raise an alert on any match. I'll then click save. Let's now modify our query by removing the app name filter and adding the second ESXi host to the host name filter. If I click on search, we are going to see all the events which contain the severity info from both of these ESXi 6.5 hosts. From this point, we are going to be creating a custom dashboard. The custom dashboard will contain all the events with the info severity for both our ESXi hosts. To create a custom dashboard, we click on this icon up the top here. We give the query a name. We'll drop down the dashboard menu and select new dashboard. And we'll name this dashboard ESXi hosts. For the widget type, I will select chart. However, there are multiple other widget types that you can select in this menu. And optionally, you can enter in notes in this field. I'll now click on add. The dashboard has successfully been added. And to view the dashboard, we click on dashboards. We'll drop down our dashboards menu and we'll select my dashboards. And then we'll click on ESXi hosts. This dashboard now displays all the info events that appear on both my ESXi hosts. And from this dashboard, we can simply add multiple filters by clicking on the add filter button. Next, I would like to show you the multiple content packs that are available for a log insight. And to do that, we click on the menu at the top right hand corner. We select content packs and just ensure that on the left hand side marketplace is selected. Then on the right hand side, we can see a list of all the content packs that are available for log insight. Before wrapping up this tutorial, we're going to take a quick look at the system monitor. To access the system monitor, we click on the menu at the top right hand corner and select administration. Make sure system monitor on the left hand side is selected. And on the right hand side, we can see such things as CPU, memory, total read and write options, bytes read and written, live storage usage, and archive storage. If I click on statistics, we can see the rate at which logs are being ingested into Log Insight. Currently, there's one event being ingested per minute. Now that completes this tutorial on VMware Log Insight 4. I hope you've enjoyed it and we'll see you again in the next video.